Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another edition of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing uh, another uh, beer from the Boulevard uh, Smokestack series. I'm going to be doing their Double Wide IPA. It says right on the bottle it's twister proof. Um, I've already uh, reviewed the Single Wide, which uh, which is a regular IPA. Um, this is this is one of their smokestack series uh, year-round offerings. Um, so if you can get this one, you can. If you can get Boulevard beers, you can probably get this one anytime. Um, it says on the bottle, this classic India Pale Ale is a traveler's beer, aggressively hopped to withstand the long hot ocean voyage to the British East Indies. Our double wide IPA also travels well and is right at home in the most exotic ports of call of the Midwest. While this modern-day prairie schooner may not resemble a graceful sailing sloop, our liberal hopping reg regimen does make her virtually twister-proof, with toffee and caramel notes balancing out the lingering bitterness. Enjoy this beer fresh to best appreciate the complex blending of hop aromas ranging from minty to citrusy with subtle, subtle hints of pine. This comes in at uh, 71 IBUs and 8.5% ABV. Um, as you know, you probably noticed on my other reviews, I have trouble with these Boulevard corks, so I'm just going to stop now, and uh, once I get the cork ready to come off, I'll be back with you. Okay, I'm back. About got it out. My handy uh, bottle opener for uh, Boulevard corks. Let's get this cork out of here and see what we have. There's some serious smoke there on that one, too. Let's get this in a glass and see what we've got. Smoke is still pouring out of it. You could better pour a little easier on this one. Or maybe should have just used a different glass. Some serious head on that one. All we got what we hear is a medium, very to, to almost dark amber, very cloudy beer. I think there's a lot of hop haze in there, and I'm not sure. I think they bottle the condition this one too, as they do their all of their uh, their regular beers. It's a very pretty looking beer. I think this uh, this head is going to stick around a while. It's a nice, slightly off white, not beige, but sort of eggshell, off white head. Very foamy. Mixture of uh, a lot of different different size bubbles. Let's give it a smell, see if I can get through this head, and see what we have here. Okay, right up front you get pine. Get a little of uh, like the the orange zest, not the the orange flavor, but like the orange uh, orange orange zest, the orange peel. You do get a little bit of alcohol in this. Um, I've never really noticed that before. Maybe this just, just I'm not sure. They they always put batch numbers and brew dates on these. But you do get a hint of hint of some yeast. So I think I think this one is this one is bottle condition like the regular condition uh, regular uh, beers. Um, basically, you got you got citrus, you got pot, a little pine. There's a little floral in it. Um, it's slightly musty, like like grassy. Not not the wet hay smell, but uh, kind of like a grassy smell. Let's uh, give it a taste and see if it follows. Okay, you get right up front. You get a little of that that sweet maltiness. You don't really get your citrus and your hop, your hoppy notes until the until the middle of the palate, and then you've got a really nice bitter piney finish. In the middle of the palate, you get you, that's where you get your your real citrusy notes, your orange, a little bit of lemon. This 
has got a medium to a full mouthfeel. It's it's got a really nice mouthfeel. It's very smooth drinking beer. But uh, anyway, let me. I'm going to add a little more. Drink on this a while, and I'll be back with you shortly for my final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, there's just a little bit left. It's only been about 20 minutes or so. This is not one you want to uh, let warm up a whole lot. Um, as you can see, the head is stuck around the whole time, though. Left, left some, you can see that, some nice trails all the way down the glass. I mean, this is a, this is a stellar beer. I'm glad it's a year-round uh, year offering. I usually try to have at least one bottle of this in the fridge. Um... I'm going Saturday to the neighboring town where I can actually get this the freshest um, to judge barbecue. So uh, I'm going to pick up another bottle to replace this one on Saturday. Um, I'm going to give this a, on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give this a 9.5. This is a darn good beer. This is a really excellent beer. It's a nice IPA. It's not it's not a hot bomb like you get from the West Coast. There's a nice smoothness between the, uh, you know, nice balance between the uh, malts and the uh, hops. Um, it's, you know, 71 IBUs, so, you know, there's a lot of hoppiness to it, but it's balanced out very nicely with the malts. Um, if you like if you like your super hoppy beers and your super bitter, bitter beers, you're not going to like this one. This is a this is a sweet IPA. This is a Midwest. There's more pine than than I usually find in Midwest IPAs, but uh, this is a this is a stellar brew, and I'm glad it's a year-round offering. Um, so with that, cheers, everybody. Keep drinking good beers.